In emergency settings, it is imperative to evaluate for potentially sight-threatening conditions. Visual acuity is considered the vital sign of the eye, and it's important to obtain for ED patients with eye or visual symptoms. However, visual acuity testing should never delay important interventions, like eye irrigation of a chemical burn. In an ambulatory and cooperative patient, the Snellen chart is commonly used to measure visual acuity. The pocket-sized Rosenbaum chart is used for non-ambulatory but cooperative patients, while the E-chart may be used for patients that do not know the alphabet or are nonverbal. For pediatric patients and patients that cannot read, the picture eye chart may be used to measure visual acuity. Use an interpreter when possible for non-English speaking patients. We will only cover the use of the Snellen chart in this module. To start out, position the patient to stand 20 feet away from the Snellen chart. Many EDs will have the 20 foot distance from the chart marked on the floor. If not, some tiles are one square foot, so you can count 20 tiles to approximate 20 feet. Test one eye at a time to get a visual acuity reading for each eye by having the patient fully cover an eye with their palm. Alternatively, you may use a handheld eye occluder, such as the pinhole mask with pinholes lifted up. If the patient uses corrective glasses or contact lenses, the patient should use them so that they can give you their best visual acuity. Have the patient read the smallest row of letters that can be easily read. Encourage the patient to read as many of the letters of the next smaller line and take note of the smallest row of letters that the patient can completely read and the corresponding visual acuity measurement. If a patient can only partially read a line, you can denote this in your measurement with a suffix. Indicate the number of additional letters the patient is able to read in the next smaller line with a plus. For instance, a visual acuity of 2050 plus 2 indicates that the patient is able to read all of the 2050 line and two letters of the next smaller line. If the patient misses only a few letters of a row, you can denote this with a minus. 2040 minus two indicates that the patient was able to read all but two of the 2040 line on the eye chart. If the patient cannot read any letters of the eye chart, you should evaluate visual acuity with finger counting, hand motion perception, and light perception. If a patient has decreased visual acuity, the pinhole mask may be used to estimate the eye's best potential vision if there is a refractive error. If a patient's visual acuity improves with the pinhole mask, that improvement is attributed to refractive error. Before patient use, you should wipe the pinhole mask with an alcohol or sterilizing wipe.